If your business has been closed, your espresso machine has likely been switched off for up to three months. There are a few simple tasks you can carry out to restart your machine successfully. Switch on the water supply to your water filter, and depending on the brand and capacity, you will need to flush through between 20 and 150 litres of water. This will ensure the stagnant water and particulates are flushed away. Locate the main isolation switch which supplies power, then flick the switch underneath your espresso machine to turn it on. Once activated and heating, now is a good time to check for any leaks from inside the machine. Once your machine has reached its set temperature and pressure, we can now test all functions. Open both steam valves fully to make sure an even and constant steam is dispersed from the steam ones. If you did not empty your steam boiler before switching off your espresso machine, it is imperative to refresh the water inside. Open the hot water valve to dispense between 2 to 4 litres of water, depending on the size of your steam boiler, either directly into the drain tray or a separate bucket. As fresh water is refilled in the boiler, your steam pressure will initially decrease, so please wait until it recovers before repeating this process at least 3 to 4 times. Backwashing your espresso machine with cleaning solution serves two purposes. It refreshes water in the hydraulic circuit and coffee boilers which feed the groups, and gives the group head and solenoid valve a clean at the same time to remove any old coffee oils. Finally, dial in your coffee to check for flow rate through the group heads and reset your volumetrics. If you notice anything which is not functioning correctly, please contact an approved Victoria Arduino engineer. <laughs>